right, y'all, here we go. It's time for some goodness. Today, I'm showing you what it's all it's about. about. Lifting each other up when we're down. I need it. I'm trying to do the same for you. But here we go. Today's episode is going to be fun. I have access. What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Paul the Fifth. Before I start today's video, I wanted to apologize to everyone. I wanted to say I'm sorry that I haven't been able to put out reliable, consistent content over the last two weeks. This thing called life has kind of rocked my world lately. It's beat me up, beat me down. I'm back. Today, I'm well rested, I'm feeling good, I'm excited, I have great content to share with you. If you are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Over the last three months or so, you may have seen my progression of gear, getting things ordered, set up, and put together. So, how do you like my new Star Wars shirt? And what do you think about my ink? Yeah, I'm an Indian guy that's a rock and roller that loves Star Wars. What does this have anything to do with anything, you ask? Paul V, well, let me tell you. What's the first thing that you think about when you think of Star Wars? Me, I think of a series filmed in the 70s that was Way, way, way far above its time. As you've seen my progression of gear, you may know I have two M1 Max. That's what today's video is all about. Futuristic machines. I am going to be showing you how quickly, how efficient, and how quiet these two machines are running. Before we get into that, I got something else to share with you. I got some new toys that involve batteries. Nothing like that. You're nasty. Let me show you <laughs> what I got. This is going to play a role in today's video, I promise. It's a heat gun. So it's a digital thermometer, but it's not only gonna be able to check people's temperatures when they come here to the studio. I'm going to use this to gauge temperature on my old MacBook Pro when we do some render tests today. Let's open this up. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. So this takes batteries. If you didn't know, blue is my favorite color. Okay. Sorry if this angle is a little off. My webcam just fell down. Let's resume, shall we? The craziest shit happens to me. All right, how about this angle? My webcam fell for the second time. Hopefully there won't be a number three. Where was I? Oh, the batteries for my new toy, which is a thermometer gun. 
I should probably read the directions for this, but I'm a dude, and when do we ever read directions? Oh! Shit, yeah! Sorry. It comes with a 9 volt built in. Okay. This is exciting. I might be aiming this at me to gauge my heat temperature, and then I'll be shooting it at one of my MacBook Pros to see how warm it gets when it renders things down. Okay, you guys excited? I'm stoked to share you the power of these M1 silicon chips. I have about four to five tests that I want to share with you. The first two are on my Mac Mini. has 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of internal storage. The very first video I want to render down is one that I made towards the end of 2020. I have purchased some speaker stands for the studio to put my monitors on. And this video is 17 minutes and 48 seconds. Let me show you how quickly, how quietly, and how efficient this machine is. Here we go. Step one, we will export file. It is exactly 19.89 gigs, pretty decent size. I'm putting the resolution at 1080p, it's the highest I can go, and as far as the res, I'm going pro res. Next, speaker stand clip one. What I'd like to do to give us a visual and more of a mental idea of how quick this is, I'm going to start my timer to show us how fast this machine really is. Here we go. Start and save at the same time. This is real time. We're gonna get through it at about 10 seconds. Looks like it's maybe 10% in. Oh my gosh. 25 seconds, we're about 25% in. Thirty-five seconds, we're at about three o'clock, so we're about quarter of the way in. Okay, we are going on fifty seconds, we're at three o'clock, which is about a quarter of the way in here. Not bad. We're at a minute and five, and we're at about five o'clock, so pretty good. We are approaching a minute and 20, and we are at 50% rendered down. Okay. For a video that's almost 18 minutes long and almost 20 gigs, I'm mind blown. Okay, this is amazing. We are at a minute and 40 and we're at probably 60% rendered down. Real time, no editing. minute and 55 and we are about 75% in. That's crazy y'all. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna get a little closer here. 210, we're at like 90% there. Two twenty. 95%. Almost two and a half minutes. Almost done. Two forty. Two minutes forty two point eight four seconds. Flipping unreal. Okay. 
here we go to the next one. So for this second video, I shot it last year on my birthday, December the 10th. I called it Christmas came early. I was doing some unboxing of some new gear. The video itself is exactly 12 minutes in length. Let's follow the same process. We will render it down and see how quickly this video takes to render. Let's go. Let's go. We will go to the top, export file. 12 minutes, even 6.81 gigs. Next, Xmas came early. Saving to my documents before we get started. Turn the camera around and hit start on the timer in three, two, one. All right, so almost 10 seconds into it, looking like maybe two to three percent here. But again, it's the tortoise and the hare in this race. All right, 25 seconds in and we're making progress. We're down to about three o'clock. I'm liking this. We are now at 35 seconds and we're about four to five o'clock on the time. 45 seconds in and we are just under 50% rendering this video. Crazy. 55 seconds in and we're at 60%. One minute and five seconds and we are at 70%. Unreal. One minute and 15 seconds, we're at about 80%. I'm gonna move over here, so that way, when it's done, I can hit the stop button. A minute and 30, and we're about 90% there. Crazy. Real time, no speeding up, no slowing down. A minute and 45 and we're at like 95% there I will hit stop once it shows that the video has been shared successfully one minute 59.03 seconds to render this 12 minute video ladies gentlemen this is unheard of this is flipping crazy it's quiet it's fast I'm mind blown I'm so glad I made this decision to purchase this machine. On to render test number three. All right, it is time for render test number three, changing up devices from the Mac Mini to my M1 laptop. I have customized this device with 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of internal storage. This next video I shot on New Year's Eve a little over a month ago is 10 minutes and 16 seconds in length we will be following the exact same process of rendering as we have in the other two videos ready here we go export file it's called 1231 20 the video is 10 minutes and 16 seconds 9.21 gigs resolution 1080p quality best ProRes. Next, I'm going to do 1231 clip 5. I'm going to hit save and start at the very same time in 3, 2, 1. Alright, 5 seconds in. Looks like we don't have much going on. That's okay. Still the tortoise and the hare in this race here. I've got to say, I really love my M1 MacBook Pro. It just feels sturdy, it's thick, it works. Big Sur is nice, but my third party plugins don't seem to work very well. That's just standard when a new OS comes out. 40 seconds into this, we're at three o'clock. 
so about a quarter of the way there if you're someone that renders down videos in iMovie Final Cut Pro DaVinci Resolve whatever it is that you use these devices are fantastic one minute in and we are just a hair under 50% what all right a minute and 15 and we're about 60% of the way almost done rendering this video guys gals let me know what kind of computer you use and how do you use it a minute and a half we're at almost 80% I'm gonna scooch over so I can get the timer turned off when it says shared video successfully a minute and 50 98% done crazy minute 55 shared successfully less than two minutes a minute 59.08 seconds to render a video that's 10 minutes and 15 seconds 9.81 gigs if you're thinking about going with the m1 series this is just the beginning guys all right ladies and gents it is time for render test number four i'm doing it on my m1 macbook pro this is a video that i did recently that i haven't released yet it's where i'm talking about how i show you music production so far what i've got on the clip is 17 minutes and 48 seconds i want to render it down and see how long it might take following the same exact steps as before let's get into it export file 17 minutes and 48 seconds the file is 19.89 gigs resolution this one's a little different I can only get to 720p here quality best ProRes saving this as where do I begin before I start the render process, as always, we will hit the start button and save in three, two, one. Ten seconds in, not making much of a dent or anything at all. All right, 25 seconds in, we're just about at 2%. But a lot of this was shot in 4K and at 60 frames per second. So I'm sure it might take a little bit longer. 40 seconds in and we're at about 5%. fifty five seconds in and we are hitting the two o'clock on the render dial all right a minute and five and we are just approaching three o'clock all right a minute and twenty into this we are still right around the three o'clock let's get out the heat gun and see what it does what it says let's try it Eighty degrees Fahrenheit. Not bad. Pretty cool. Just hit two minutes and we are at the four o'clock mark. Pretty impressive for a minute that's almost eighteen that's almost eighteen minutes. 
and almost 20 gigs. All right, we're at the two minutes and 20 mark, and we just rounded that 50% mark. What? Okay. We are now at 235, still stuck at that 50% render place. I wish that I could run that fast and burn fat as quickly as this beast of a machine runs and works. Just under three minutes, we're still at the 50% mark. This is really impressive. I chose this because I knew it was a big file and I wanted to see the efficiency of this machine. Three minutes and 20 seconds, we're at about 60%. Let's do another heat test. Power on. 77. Eighty-two. A little warmer, not much. Three minutes and fifty seconds, and we are at about seventy percent. This is amazing. Cool to the touch. Quiet. Four minutes and ten seconds in, and we're at seventy-five percent. My render dial looks like a Pac-Man. 420, awesome number. We're at 80% on this render. This is flipping crazy, guys. And again, this is real time. I'm not speeding things up. I'm not slowing down. We're watching this as it happens. Four minutes and 40 seconds, and we are at about 85%. Wow. Okay. Four minutes and 55 seconds and we're at 90%. Five minutes, 95% in. This is unflipping real. <laughs> I love it. So far, I think that this is the longest one of everything. 5.15. 95% there. I'm going to hit stop when it says shared successfully. Five and a half minutes, 98% done. Five thirty-five. Five forty. Come on. Five minutes and 45 seconds. Let's try the heat gun test. Eighty-three degrees Fahrenheit is the hottest that this has got. This is amazing, guys. Let me know what you think have you been seeing videos of these over the last three months or so since their announcement and release i've got about two to three more tests coming up in another video but thank you so much for watching i appreciate it all right we have successfully concluded four different speed tests my goal was to show you four different videos that were varying in length and file size the last one was five minutes and 45 seconds. It was the longest of the four, but that whole series has blown my mind. Have you been wanting to check out the hype of these M1 silicon chips? Well, it's 
only going to get better from here. These have been setting the precedent for what's to come. I have heard later on in 2021, Apple may be releasing a 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro. I've heard talks in the rumor mill of an iMac. In the beginning of the video, I said that these were futuristic models, that these were above their time. So far, they have blown my mind. I believe that they are products of the future. I can't wait to see what else Apple's gonna come out with. Let me know what you thought about today's video. I appreciate you watching. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's content. As always, smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that way you're always in the know what Paul V and Legacy Studios is up to. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Paul V.